In the context of an increasingly intense global military technology race, a remarkable shift has captured worldwide attention. How can a nation transform itself from a latecomer that once relied heavily on foreign designs into a global military technology leader in just two decades? China has done exactly that, driving itself forward through breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, stealth technology, and hypersonic missiles, challenging even the most established military powers. This transformation is not simply about numbers or production scale. It represents a powerful demonstration of China's long-term strategy. The country has pursued continuous and deliberate innovation with the goal of building a modern, self-reliant military force capable of competing on a global level. From massive warships dominating the seas to stealth fighters operating in contested airspace, each platform reflects a key element of the People's Liberation Army's broader strategic vision. In the 21st century, military power is no longer measured solely by troop numbers or fleet size, but by technological capability and innovation. Missiles, with their speed, um, range, and precision, have become a core pillar of modern military doctrine. They provide the ability to project power at distance without deploying large forces, playing a central role in strategic deterrence, regional defense, and global security stability. China has fully embraced this philosophy. China's missile development strategy is built around three core principles, long-range deterrence, regional defense and area control, and survivability with rapid response capability. To achieve this, Beijing has constructed a layered force structure that includes hardened fixed launch sites, mobile land-based launchers that are difficult to detect and track, and submarine launch capabilities. Together, these elements form a robust nuclear triad. Most notably, China has made massive investments in hypersonic technology, an area where it is increasingly seen as a global leader. By the year 2024, China's defense budget reached approximately $296 billion, with an annual growth rate of around 7%, outpacing many developed nations. Roughly 20% of this budget is allocated to research and development. Between 2018 and 2023, China filed more than 10,000 military-related patents, particularly in fields such as artificial intelligence and unmanned systems, these efforts have significantly narrowed the technological gap with the United States, especially in the integration of artificial intelligence into military applications. Now, we will explore the top 10 missile systems that best represent China's engineering ambition, technological mastery, and long-term strategic vision. One, DF-41, the backbone of global strategic deterrence. DF-41, also known as Dongfeng-41, is China's fourth-generation intercontinental ballistic missile, officially deployed in the year 2019. It represents a major leap forward in China's long-range missile capability, with an estimated range between roughly 7,500 and 9,300 miles. DF-41 can reach nearly any target on Earth from within Chinese territory. Its most significant feature is its ability to carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, commonly known as MIRVs. Analysts estimate that each missile can carry anywhere from 3 to 10 nuclear warheads, with each warhead capable of striking a separate target. This dramatically complicates any missile defense system designed to intercept it. DF-41 is deployed on highly mobile road-based launch vehicles with 8-axle transporter launchers, capable of traveling at highway speeds. This mobility greatly improves survivability against a potential first strike. In addition, China has constructed hundreds of hardened launch silos to further diversify deployment options. Compared to the United States, Minuteman 3 missile, which carries fewer warheads and relies primarily on fixed underground silos, DF-41 offers greater flexibility and higher strike potential. The rapid development and deployment of this system within roughly a single decade highlights both China's technical capability and its strategic ambition. 2. DF-61 the next generation challenge to missile defense. DF-61 was publicly revealed for the first time during China's Victory Day military parade in the year 2025. It represents the next stage of China's ongoing nuclear modernization program. Designed to complement or eventually replace DF-41, DF-61 is believed to focus on enhanced penetration of missile defense systems and increased payload capacity. While official specifications remain classified, Analysts estimate a significantly heavier launch mass and the potential integration of advanced flight profiles, including hypersonic glide vehicle technology. Such capabilities would allow the missile to maneuver unpredictably during flight, 
making interception far more difficult. The unveiling of DF-61 reinforces China's position within the nuclear triad and supports Beijing's long-term objective of fielding a substantially expanded nuclear deterrent by the mid-2020s. Three, DF-5B, legacy power upgraded for the modern era. DF-5B is an upgraded version of China's first-generation intercontinental ballistic missile, originally designed for deployment from fixed underground silos. Although it relies on liquid fuel and represents an older design philosophy, DF-5B remains a powerful component of China's strategic deterrent. The upgraded variant is capable of carrying multiple independently targetable nuclear warheads, with estimates suggesting as many as a dozen warheads per missile. Each warhead is believed to possess explosive power far exceeding early nuclear weapons used in the 20th century. With sufficient range to reach targets across North America and Europe, DF-5B provides an additional layer of deterrence within China's multi-tier missile force. Its continued presence demonstrates how legacy systems, when modernized, can remain relevant in contemporary strategic planning. Uh, four, uh, JL-3, completing the nuclear triad beneath the ocean. JL-3, also known as Zhulang-3, is China's third-generation submarine-launched ballistic missile. It plays a critical role in completing the sea-based leg of China's nuclear triad under the command of the People's Liberation Army Navy. Submarine launch capability provides a major strategic advantage. As these platforms are difficult to detect and track, this greatly strengthens China's second strike capability, ensuring retaliation even after a surprise attack. JL-3 is estimated to have a range of roughly 5,600 to 7,500 miles and can carry multiple MIRV warheads. This allows Chinese ballistic missile submarines to hold global targets at risk while operating from protected patrol areas in the Pacific or nearby seas. Integration of JL-3 with existing Type 094 submarines and the next generation Type 096 fleet reflects China's rapid progress in nuclear naval technology, narrowing the gap with advanced systems such as the United States Trident missile. Ah, uh, five, DF-31AG, mobility and unpredictability. Across terrain, DF-31AG is an upgraded variant of the DF-31A, a road mobile intercontinental ballistic missile designed for high survivability. Its most notable feature is an improved eight-axle transporter launcher that allows operation across a wide range of terrain, with an estimated range of approximately 6,800 to 7,500 miles and the ability to carry one to three MIRV warheads. DITA's dual DF-31AG serves as a flexible complement to heavier systems like DF-41. In the year 2024, China conducted a full-range test of this missile across the Pacific Ocean, marking its first such demonstration in decades. This test sent a clear signal regarding China's global strike capability. DF-31AG illustrates China's broader shift away from fixed silo-based missiles toward mobile, harder to detect systems, strengthening deterrence and increasing strategic uncertainty for potential adversaries. Un 6 DF-26, a multi-role missile that changed the strategic balance. DF-26, also known as Dongfeng-26, is a versatile intermediate-range ballistic missile that significantly expanded China's regional strike capabilities. It was first publicly revealed in the year 2015 and is often discussed by analysts for its ability to reach U. S. Military facilities in the Western Pacific. What makes DF-26 unique is its dual-role design. The missile can be equipped with either conventional or nuclear payloads, allowing it to perform a wide range of missions. These include land strike operations as well as maritime roles, such as targeting large surface vessels. This flexibility allows commanders to adapt the system to different strategic scenarios without relying on a single mission profile. With an estimated range between roughly 2,500 and 3,100 miles and extremely high terminal speed, DF-26 effectively bridges the gap between long-range intercontinental systems and shorter-range regional missiles. Continued upgrades including advanced maneuvering capabilities introduced in the mid-2020s, demonstrate China's sustained focus on area denial and regional deterrence rather than numerical escalation. Um, seven, DF-17, hypersonic technology, redefining modern warfare. DF-17 entered official service in the year 2019 and represents one of the most significant technological shifts in modern missile development. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, DF-17 is designed to deploy a hypersonic glide vehicle, allowing it to travel at extreme speeds while maneuvering unpredictably. Capable of reaching speeds well above conventional missile thresholds, 
DF-17 combines velocity with directional flexibility. Its glide vehicle can alter its flight path during descent, greatly complicating interception by existing missile defense systems. This combination of speed and maneuverability marks a fundamental change in how long-range precision strike systems operate. While several countries continue to test similar concepts, China moved from research to operational deployment in less than a decade. This rapid transition reflects a focused development strategy centered on technological maturity rather than experimental demonstration. DF-17 now plays a central role in China's regional defense planning by emphasizing deterrence through complexity rather than sheer destructive power. 8. DF-21D, the missile that reshaped naval strategy. DF-21D is widely recognized as the world's first operational anti-ship ballistic missile, specifically designed to target large moving vessels at sea. It entered service in the early 2010s and introduced a new challenge for traditional naval operations. Unlike conventional anti-ship weapons, DF-21D uses a ballistic trajectory combined with a maneuverable terminal phase. This allows the missile to adjust its descent toward moving maritime targets, a capability that was once considered impractical. Its extended reach enables coverage of large maritime areas without the need for forward-deployed naval forces. By integrating satellite guidance, over-the-horizon targeting, and terminal maneuvering, DF-21D altered how naval planners assess risk in contested waters. Its development reflects China's emphasis on defensive depth and regional stability rather than forward power projection. Uh, 9. YJ-21 – Hypersonic Anti-Ship Strike Capability YJ-21 is a hypersonic anti-ship missile designed for deployment from surface vessels and aircraft platforms, first observed in the early 2020s. It represents the next stage in naval strike evolution by combining high speed with precision targeting. Operating at extreme velocities during its final approach, YJ-21 significantly reduces reaction time for defensive systems. Its design prioritizes survivability through speed and maneuverability rather than payload size. When integrated aboard modern destroyers and long-range aircraft, the missile enhances sea control and fleet defense rather than offensive expansion. The introduction of YJ-21 highlights a broader trend in naval technology, where fewer but more advanced systems are favored over mass deployment. 10. HN-3 Long-range precision through flexibility. HN-3, also known as Hongniao-3, is a long-range land attack cruise missile that has been in service since the early 2000s. Unlike ballistic systems, it is designed for low-altitude flight, terrain following, and high accuracy. Powered by a turbofan engine, Chen-3 emphasizes endurance and precision over speed. Its ability to approach targets at low altitude makes detection more difficult and allows it to strike with minimal collateral impact. The missile can be launched from multiple platforms, including aircraft, surface vessels, submarines, and mobile ground units. Over time, China has integrated satellite navigation, inertial guidance, and artificial intelligence-assisted targeting into the system. This evolution reflects a shift toward precision strike and operational flexibility, rather than reliance on a single category of weapon. Across all these systems, a clear pattern emerges. China's missile development strategy emphasizes diversity, layered deployment, and adaptability. Rather than depending on one dominant platform, the system relies on multiple overlapping capabilities supported by satellite navigation, electronic resilience, and real-time data integration. The result is not a single breakthrough weapon, but an interconnected ecosystem designed to remain effective across a wide range of scenarios. This approach prioritizes survivability, control, and stability in an increasingly complex security environment. These missile systems are not just weapons. They reflect China's industrial depth, scientific capacity, and long-term strategic thinking. Beijing is looking toward the year 2035, aiming to build a highly automated military force that seamlessly integrates artificial intelligence, quantum technologies, and network-centric systems. This vision is reshaping how warfare may be conducted in the 21st century, with massive investment in research and development. Accounting for nearly 20% of China's annual defense budget, tens of billions of U.S. Dollars are being directed toward turning this vision into reality. Over the past decade, more than 30% of the world's military-related patents have originated from Chinese companies and research institutions, highlighting the scale and intensity of this transformation. These innovations are not only strengthening China's national defense posture, 
but also opening new pathways for competition and cooperation within the evolving global security environment. The pace of innovation, from initial design to operational deployment, is striking. It reflects a level of coordination, efficiency, and strategic focus that few nations have demonstrated at comparable scale. The combination of engineering excellence and long-term vision has positioned China as a defining force in military innovation in the 21st century. What do you think? Which of these 10 technologies impressed you the most? And how do you see China continuing to shape the global military technology landscape in the years ahead? Will countries such as the United States adjust their strategies to remain competitive in this rapidly evolving race? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more in-depth analysis on technology, geopolitics, and the innovations shaping our future. China Discovery's official will return with more untold stories, breakthrough developments, and the quiet revolutions transforming the world from within. We will see you in the next video.